In the vast expanse of space among countless stars and galaxies, there is a whisper, the whisper of a distant star that's traveled light years to reach us here on Earth. This is not a science fiction tale, but a reality of our universe, a testament to the continual growth of our understanding of the cosmos. Scientists eavesdropping on space have detected a signal, a radio wave from a star system not so different from our own. A star known as YZ SETI is located just 12 light years away. But it's not just any signal. This signal carries a potential signature of a magnetic field very similar to the one that protects our own planet. The magnetic field that may envelop a rocky Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting YZ SETI. What could it mean? Could this distant world be more like our own than we've ever imagined? And what could it tell us about the search for life beyond our solar system? Let's go light years across to delve into the mysteries of radio signals in space and explore the magnetic fields of distant worlds. In the boundless silence of space, radio signals can, without guile, be called whispers. But what are these signals, and how do they propagate over such vast distances in space? Radio signals are a type of electromagnetic radiation, just like light, X-rays, or microwaves. They're generated by a variety of sources, from stars and galaxies to artificial satellites and spacecraft. These signals travel at the speed of light carrying information across vast distances in space. They can tell us about the composition of stars, the presence of planets, and even the origin of the universe itself. But how do we detect these signals? The answer lies in the technology of radio astronomy. Radio telescopes, such as the Very Large Array in New Mexico, or the now defunct Arecibo University in Puerto Rico are designed to detect and analyze radio signals from space. They are our ears to the cosmos, listening to the faint whispers of the universe. Once a signal is detected by a radio observatory, it is analyzed using sophisticated algorithms and computer models. These analyses can provide extensive information about the source of the signal from its location and distance to its physical properties. But radio signals from space are not just a scientific curiosity. They also have practical applications. For example, radio signals from satellites are used for GPS navigation, weather forecasting, and Earth observation. They are an integral part of our modern technological infrastructure. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, there's a whole symphony of signals playing out there, a cosmic conversation, an orchestra that we're just beginning to understand. Let us return to the constellation of Cetus, the sea monster, in which lies a star that whispers to us across light years. Her name is YZ Seti. YZ SETI is a red dwarf smaller and cooler than our sun. It is located 12 light years away, a close neighbor on a cosmic scale. But what makes YZ SETI truly fascinating is not the star itself, but what revolves around it. At least three exoplanets are known to orbit around YZ SETI, the innermost of which, YZ SETI b, is of particular interest. YZ SETI b is a rocky, Earth-sized exoplanet that orbits very close to its parent star. In fact, it is so close that its year, the time it takes to make one revolution around YZ SETI, is only 1.6 Earth days. Recently, using Very Large Array, scientist at Bucknell University, Professor Jackie Villadson and her colleague J. Sebastian Panita detected a repeating radio signal coming from YZ SETI. The signal was recorded at a frequency of 2 to 4 gigahertz. It appears to be modulated by the rotation of the star and the orbit of YZ SETI b, indicating an interaction between the star 
in the magnetic field of the planet. This discovery could have major implications for our understanding of exoplanets and their magnetic fields. Although YZ SETI B is unlikely to be teeming with life due to its close proximity to its star, the detection of its magnetic field is important because it provides a method for discovering more life-friendly worlds in the future. But what does this signal really mean? And why are magnetic fields so important in our search for life? To answer these questions, we need to look deeper into the invisible force fields that shape our universe. Magnetic fields are a fundamental force of nature. They guide the hand of the compass, help birds navigate their long migration, and protect our planet from the harsh solar wind. But magnetic fields are not just an earthly phenomenon. They also play an important role beyond the Earth. Our sun, for example, has a complex and dynamic magnetic field. It controls the sun's activity from the formation of sunspots to the eruption of solar flares. Magnetic fields also shape the structure of galaxies, directing the movement of interstellar gas and influencing the formation of new stars. But perhaps the most intriguing role of magnetic fields in space is their potential impact on planetary habitability. A strong magnetic field can protect a planet from harmful radiation from its star, helping to maintain a stable atmosphere, and perhaps even conditions suitable for life. That's why it's so interesting to detect a potential magnetic field on exoplanet YZ SETI b. This could provide valuable information about the planet's atmosphere and its potential to support life. How do magnetic fields affect the detection and interpretation of signals from space? To understand this, we need to delve a little deeper into the nature of radio signals and magnetic fields. Radio signals are a type of electromagnetic wave, which means they are composed of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. These fields can interact with other magnetic fields they encounter as they travel through space. When a radio signal passes through a magnetic field, it can be altered in various ways. Its direction can be changed, a phenomenon known as deflection. Its polarization, or the orientation of its electric field, can be rotated. Its frequency, in other words, the number of waves passing through a point in a given time, can be shifted. These changes can provide valuable information about the magnetic field that caused them. By studying these changes, scientists can infer properties of the magnetic field such as its strength and orientation. But magnetic fields can also pose problems for detecting signals from space. They can cause interference, making it difficult to detect the signal. They can distort the signal, making it difficult to interpret. This is why the study of magnetic fields is so important in the field of radio astronomy. By understanding how magnetic fields affect radio signals, scientists can develop methods to correct these effects and extract valuable information hidden in signals from space. To better understand the influence of magnetic fields in creating favorable conditions for life on the planet, let's turn our gaze closer to home to a familiar red-headed neighbor in our cosmic backyard. Mars, the red planet, has long captured our imagination. With its towering volcanoes, deep canyons, and hints of liquid water, it is one of the most intriguing places in our solar system. But Mars also presents us with a mystery. Unlike Earth, Mars has a very weak and inhomogeneous magnetic field. This has serious implications for the planet's atmosphere and its ability to support life. Mars' magnetic field is not created by a dynamo in its core like Earth's. Instead, it's the remnants of magnetism trapped in the planet's crust from the time when Mars actually had a global magnetic field. Without a strong magnetic field protecting it, Mars's atmosphere is directly exposed to the solar wind a stream of charged particles emitted by the sun. 
Moreover, new models presented by R. Sakata of the University of Tokyo and others suggest that a weak magnetic field like Mars after its dynamo is turned off could actually lead to a more rapid loss of atmosphere than if there were no magnetic field at all. Modeling has shown that a weak magnetic field results in the fastest rate of atmospheric ion loss, six times faster than without a magnetic field. The reason is that the weak magnetic field strength lines were easily repelled by the solar wind, creating a path for ions to escape into space over the night side of Mars. This suggests that Mars' remaining magnetic field may have hastened the planet's transformation into the cold and barren world it is today. Over billions of years, this caused Mars to lose much of its atmosphere, a process known as atmospheric stripping. This turned Mars from a potentially warm and wet world in its early history into the cold and dry planet we see today. The case of Mars provides a vivid illustration of the importance of magnetic fields to a planet's habitability. It shows us that without a strong magnetic field, a planet, even one as Earth-like as Mars, can lose the things that make it habitable, atmosphere and water. By the way, we've already looked at the problems and potential solutions to make Mars a second home for humanity in a separate video. Exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, have recently become a major focus of astronomical research. With more than a thousand discovered to date, they offer a wealth of opportunities to learn about the diversity of the planetary systems in our galaxy. One of the most exciting developments in this field was the discovery of the first known magnetic field on an exoplanet in late December 2021 by an international team of astronomers who used the Hubble Space Telescope for their research. It was discovered on a Neptune-sized planet called HAT-P-11b. HAT-P-11b HAT is located about 123 light years away in the constellation of Swan. It is a hot Neptune, a type of exoplanet that's similar in size to Neptune, but much closer to its star, resulting in high temperatures on the planet's surface. The detection of a magnetic field on HAT P11b was a groundbreaking discovery. It showed that exoplanets can generate magnetic fields just like planets in our solar system. As we mentioned earlier, Studying the magnetic fields of exoplanets can provide valuable information about their internal structure, atmospheric properties, and potential habitability. For example, a strong magnetic field can protect a planet's atmosphere from stellar winds, helping to preserve conditions that could support life. That brings us back to YZ Yeti B, an exoplanet from which a signal was recently detected. If this signal is indeed indicative of a magnetic field, it could have a major implication for our understanding of this exoplanet and its potential for life. Traveling through space from the familiar landscapes of Mars to the far reaches of a YZ Yeti, we've truly come to realize the invisible power of magnetic fields, the profound effect on planets and their potential to harbor life on them. The field of studying signals from other galaxies has grown rapidly over the past few years. For example, the giant Metrowave telescope in India has detected a faint signal from the most distant galaxy to date. The signal detected by YZ SETI opened another new window into the universe, reminding us how much we still have to learn about our world. As we look to the future, the study of signals from other galaxies will continue to be the focus of space research. Each signal carries the potential for new discoveries. So when we look up at the night sky, let's remember that we're not just looking at stars and galaxies. We're looking at a universe filled with unseen forces, whispered signals, and hidden possibilities. And as we continue to listen and explore, who knows what we might discover next.